Hello, uh, so we will be covering Jenkins as a cron management framework uh, tutorial kind of thing. Uh, we have broken the series into three parts. Uh, first, I'll be covering Jenkins as a cron management tool, the introduction part. Second will be the installation and slightly about the administration thing. And the third will be from a developer's perspective how to create and manage jobs. I haven't written the agenda here yet, but yes. Uh, so let's get started as an introduction to Jenkins. Uh, I'll I'll first walk you through the design choices we made, uh, why we went for Jenkins, what was the problem with cron. So cron today had a very basic functionality. You can uh, add a cron using sudo access on a plain Linux vanilla box or a Unix box. It will run. But what about monitoring? How will you catch if it failed? Uh, how will you retry it through a web UI? Or So today what used to happen is you go on the command prompt and then rerun the command. You have to know the command first. There are some parameters. You have to input the parameters. And all that stuff was not scalable actually. So there were some basic problems. Uh, with the cron framework as the job increased so here are the design choices we made uh, before searching for a new framework basic cron functionality should be there like we can we should be able to schedule a job through a UI dashboard easily this was the first and primary requirement which Jenkins supported so today we have like these many jobs running through Jenkins okay uh, it should have a web UI uh, monitoring dashboard where I can see okay what jobs are running I can see here these two jobs are running I should be able to uh, see the failed jobs I have a particular view where I can see the failed jobs etc retry should be there where like from the UI if I click this button this will only appear if I am logged in uh, if I click this, uh, it will actually retry it. I mean, ad hocly rerun the job. It is as good as you are triggering the command. Uh, it should have auto retry also. If it fails, it should rerun build for unstable build, uh, unstable builds as failures, fixed delay of 300 seconds. It should maximum number of successive failed builds can be two so it is as good as number of retries can be two uh, there should be something called as dependency management wherein uh, if there are two jobs like a and b a and b and if we want a to complete first and after this completion b should be triggered it is possible in jenkins so uh, before jenkins how we used to do it we used to time the job or in a shell script we used to call a separate job like once A completes then trigger B how to manage that how do we know whether job A failed or job B failed That's that was a basic problem so that's where Jenkins is capable of calling a job uh, like if we don't select build periodically we will say build after other project is built then we can select any any particular pre-configured job here and suppose we select this after this job this will be run the particular job which I am editing uh, we should be able to get some basic starts and metrics where we should see okay what all job failed I'll, I'll just go and manage Jenkins uh, then there are there are a couple of plugins in Jenkins which can be easily used and uh, so so if I want to search for all jobs history for last two weeks it is as good as simple searching and you will get all the successful failed unstable builds total number of builds and it is sortable so failure rate will define okay these are the two jobs where I need to concentrate more and ask the development team to fix it so this is a kind of thing which is very cool
mm, and that there, there are some another mm, plugins also like I'll show you this global build starts very cluttered UI but uh, it's good there are couple of more plugins also which provide this data just a minute. okay this so these are the last seven days metrics sorry sorry for the typo here so yeah this kind of graphs can be there uh, there is a rest API also for Jenkins uh, which which gives much more details about the jobs running and and the starts of the jobs so that you can write a wrapper around it and do whatever you want Jenkins th there are other tools in market also uh, which is like uh, Chronos it's a fault tolerant system specially written by Airbnb to replace um, cron framework uh, the f the it's it's good UI is very good everything is good but uh, uh, the con here is uh, it it relies on Mesos Mesos is as a dependency there so you have to install Mesos across the infrastructure which will be a difficult decision for established company Azkaban Azkaban is a tool work again a workflow management system uh, written by LinkedIn it's open sourced and I've heard that configuration is simple but the UI is not that attractive but it works Luigi Python framework by Spotify it, this I feel more is intended for a big data kind of layer only because it has the speciality of connecting the jobs very well Decron is one good framework it's it's very young and uh, it ha it is trying to replicate the same framework as Chronos, but today it is very young and it does not have in the UI where you can schedule jobs and dependency management is also not there Airflow by Airbnb again I am yet to explore this but uh, looks very promising and it's very good for big data team uh, it, it uses some cyclic graphs to represent the dependency and all that stuff uh, of course Jenkins also has some cons uh, it has a central point of failure which we are trying to uh, keep it as a high availability server uh, so there is an enterprise version uh, where where they assure that Jenkins can be highly available so we are creating some master and secondary master kind of fallback server uh, but I am not sure yet so let's see what happens upgrading Jenkins sometimes break function functionalities especially with plugins yes this is a problem with Jenkins so in the production server if we update anything we have to be very cautious with that so this was about Jenkins uh, introduction uh, we have this view if you want to build build directly I'll go through the details about the jobs, how to add jobs in our next video, in third video in fact. Thank you for watching.